Goodman. That's fucking day. That was Fit Falcon Tasmania. And Postman Peck was dead in Snowman. Someone waved to him, but couldn't see the road. Make out who it was. Uh, <clears throat> good morning. Peck was late for the village post office. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Father and night. The post hasn't a gift yet. You can wait. Oh, it's got the lunchbox in a way. Pip was just about to set up his lunch, but Mrs. Goggins was about to bring out some biscuits when Percy came out. It's here. He said, What? Already? said Pat. I thought it was ages. It's not soccer in the mainland. It's only in Tasmania. Now have a hard time jazzing for the fog. Hmm. Just when Nurk was about to have my breakfast. Oh well, no time for that now. A bit be on the way. Man hung up go. It's as thick as ever out here. Who dare? What will happen to him? Pat was on his way. He knew the roads well enough, but the distance in the fog, and his nerves weren't much help at all. He was thinking he might have taken a wrong turn or something. He stopped at the same post just as he was heading the right way. Oh dear. It wasn't a same post, only a crossroad sign. Now what? He went for the thought as if he was heading the right way. Oof! I can't see thing. Oh, I'd better not lose sight of the van. Oh, even the grass is a fucked up. And he saw someone standing in a field. Why is he so still? wondered Pat. Perhaps it's Ted Glenn out knocking for rabbits. Maybe he knows the way. Pat crept up very quietly so as not to disturb the rabbits and tapped him on the shoulder. Ted didn't know. He put a letter in his pocket. He still didn't know. Pat gave him a nudge. Oh! That's not Ted. It's a chip shot. Of course it wasn't Ted at all. It was a trip rod. Pat did feel silly. He was glad no one saw him. Pat saw some nets on the road coming. It was curving in. Luckily she wasn't lost. She told him the right way. Pat delivered a letter to Duncan. Paul was asleep in his shed and was a bunt up in his van. 
we saw the basket was empty. Just had gone. Pet knocked everywhere. Where could the cat be? Maybe he was knocking for rabbits. He went deeper in the fog, calling his name. Oh! 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 Where have you been, Jess? Thank goodness I found you. Come on. Pat was lost again. Now I've done it, Jess. I haven't been lost this time. Pat couldn't find the world, let her know his van. Person snake met in the sloping main docks railway with the natural ponies. They saw that's fun, but it's safe. Guess, look what I found. That's fun, but no bother in it. Pat and Jess have gone lost in the fog. Hmm. It's no wonder there's no body in that then. We know that. Can you find them? Yes, I can. Watch me. Hello, Pat. Hello, Hello, Pat. I thought something was moving at me. It was me all the time. Come on. Yes, Pat, now. Found him. Hello, Robert. Thank goodness your friend found me. The cat went wandering in the fog. Well, the fog's gone. Oh, I see. And it's much better for me to draw the post. Come along now, Jay. Cheers. Oh, come on.
is all the thought to do.